In this lesson, we will learn to use HTML editor for editing text. In this video, we will use the controls in second row of the HTML editor. The icons in second row are divided in three groups. The first group is called text effect group as highlighted. Select the text and click the capital B icon to make the text bold. Select the next line and click capital I icon to turn the text into italics. The next icon can be used to underline the selected text. Select any word and press this icon to strike through the selected word. These two icons can be used to apply subscript or superscript to the selected text. Let's apply the subscript effect. Select the digit 2 and press this icon. Similarly, to apply superscript effect, select the digit 2 besides X plus Y and click this icon. Now we will work with the buttons in formatting group. Right now the text in the box is left aligned. Click on the center align button. Note that all the text has become center aligned. Again click left align button to restore the text. Suppose you want to remove some unwanted code from the text that you have copied from a website and pasted in the HTML editor. You can do it with clean up messy code button. To remove formatting completely we need to use remove formatting button. Select the sentence and click remove formatting button to completely remove the formatting from the sentence. Note that the selected sentence does not have any formatting now. The next two icons can be used for copying text in Moodle HTML editor. First icon can be used to paste text as plain text. This is the default paste option for Moodle. Place the cursor to a new line. Click the paste from word icon to paste text from word processors. In the pop-up window, paste the text from a word processor. Click insert to insert text in the editor window. Note that the formatting of text is still preserved, and the external links are still working. Instead if we had used the default paste, the formatting would have been lost. Now, we will see color group icons. Select the text and expand, select text color bar. Use any color for the selected text to change the color of the text. We can also highlight text using change background color icon. Select the text and expand change background color bar. Select the color for highlighting the text. Last group is called paragraph group. Most language are written from left to right except few, which are written from right to left. In HTML editor, by default, we write left to right. By clicking this icon, we can reverse the direction for writing. Press this icon. Now, we can write from right to left. Now, open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.